Welcome to Open Dental's webinar on adding patient images to sheets. We'll go through the process of setting up what images will be brought in and how to ensure that those images are already existing in the image module folders which they will pull from. So the sheet I'm going to edit today under Setup Sheets is Referral Letter. I'm going to double click into there. Here is our generic referral letter. And on the right hand side where it says pat image, that's for patient image, and then go ahead and click. And this is going to open up another window to where we can select which folder that newest image is going to pull from. So I'm going to add bite wings to this example. I'm going to say 150 by 150 just because 100 by 100 pixels is a little small. And I can simply drag and drop this to the area I want it to be in. I'm going to see if I can line that up using the arrow keys. And let's grab another one. How about an FMX? Perfect. And again, 150 by 150. I'm going to drag this over here. Get that lined up just the way I want with the existing image. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Oh, we have these guidelines. There we go. And let's add a couple labels to this. So I'm going to click static text and I'm going to put on here bite wings. And I want that to be bold. And I'm going to center that. And again, I'm just going to drag this. I'm going to have that on top of that area. Now, I can click static text again. But since I already have this added in or highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Copy or Control-C and Paste or Control-V. And then from here, we put this in position. I don't want that to also say bite wings. I want that to say FMX. So I'm going to double click into that and just update that information. And perfect. Okay, so I'm going to click OK to save those changes. Let's add some images into the imaging module. As you can see on the left hand side, we don't have any currently. And using those patient images, it's going to use the most recent image. So let's import some images. So we're in Bite Wings. And yes. And just click Open. And I'm just going to type on here Bite Wings. And let's add an FMX. So I'm going to highlight FMX. Now, if we didn't highlight the folder we wanted, to, wanted it to go in, it's going to default to the topmost folder. So if I go through the import process again and choose FMX. Now it's wanting to put this into the credit approval topmost folder. I want this actually be an FMX. So I can click that there. And I'm just going to name this FMX again. If we forgot to change the category and we click OK and generate the sheet and we realize nothing populated for FMX, we can always just drag this down to the area we want it to be in and it'll give us a confirmation that we really want to move that. Yes, we do. Okay, so we have the images in that we want. Let me go ahead and add a tooth chart image as well, what the current tooth chart looks like. So I'm going to go into the chart module, see that our we have the work here for the patient. I'm going to click this down arrow this drop down for the tooth chart, and I'm going to say Saved Images. Gives us a confirmation that it's saved, and if I go back to the imaging module, we see our tooth chart. So let's generate that referral letter. So from the chart module, I'm going to use the drop down, and yes, I want to use a referral to Dr. Brad Bateman. Click on that. Yes, it's the referral letter. Click OK. 
And this gives us the procedures that we want to attach to this referral letter. I'm going to go ahead and do it for that extract, the extraction on 14. I'm going to just highlight that procedure. We could always select multiple procedures if we wanted to, or highlight the first procedure and use the control key to really pick and choose which procedures we want. I'm just going to choose this one for the extraction on 14. I'll click OK. And this will generate what that letter looks like, bringing in those images that are the most newest image in each one of those folders in the imaging module. Now we talked about that tooth chart. I want to add that tooth chart down here to the bottom of the page. So I'm going to click Add Field. And it's having us select a patient image. And let's grab the tooth chart. Perfect. Now, if I leave these positions the way they are, I'm actually going to change this to 200 by 200. Now, if I don't change these XY positions, it's going to place it up in the topmost corner of the sheet, which is what the 0, 0 identification is or numbers are. I know I want this in the 102660 area. So I'm going to click OK. And after I've clicked OK, we can see the tooth chart was placed where I wanted that on the sheet. We can create the PDF from here, print it off to give it to the patient if we'd like, or we can email it. I just use the referral letter as my template for what I use today for the webinar. You can add that into any sheet within Open Dental. And that concludes our webinar on adding patient images to a sheet. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And make sure you're staying up to date with our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.